hurricane season. Colorado State did put out their uh, first forecast of the 2024 season and Unfortunately, they are expecting a very active year out there. Normally here on an average 14 tropical storms, seven hurricanes, three major ones. They're looking at 23 tropical storms, 11 hurricanes and five major hurricanes. Uh, this is going to be an active season. It looks like all indications are that very warm sea surface temperatures already and transitioning from El Nino to La Nina means we all need to be prepared coming up here for this hurricane season. You can always get any tropical activity that might be ongoing on the WTOC first alert weather app. Nothing like that out there now. We have sunshine, dry weather. We'll keep that with windy conditions now, but decreasing winds overnight with colder temperatures in here overnight as well. Some will set at 745. As a matter of fact, right now we're only into the 60s, and that's about what we're going to be seeing for highs today. Mid to upper 60s. Notice that wind sustained close to 20 miles per hour for some of us gusting over 30, and we are going to keep those winds decreasing with mid 50s there heading into midnight. Now this look at our current wind gusts 33 Savannah, 32 Claxton, 28 over in Buford and on Hilton Head. So it's windy but dry. Our satellite and radar showing the clear skies and only low 60s currently for most locations because we're still in the upper 50s now in Vidalia and in Baxley. So dry weather here across a lot of the southern half of the United States. While if you move into the Ohio Valley, we're getting the rain and the wind changes to snow as you head across northern areas of the Great Lakes and on into the northeast. I posted a video on my WTOC Dave Turley Facebook page. My brother sent from Albany, New York, showing the snow that they are getting out there for this morning. And that's that heavy, wet snow out there as well. For us, clear, colder weather tonight. We are going to see plenty of sunshine coming up for our Friday. A lot less wind for our area as well. We start out with those mid to upper 40s, which is a little bit below average. Normally, we're in the low 50s this time of the year. If you have a tea time tomorrow, uh, yeah, we're going to keep those uh, temperatures in the 50s at 11 a.m., mid 60s at 2 p.m., with a little bit of a breeze out there, generally about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And there's those highs again only in the upper 60s for most locations. Your first alert seven day forecast keeps the dry weather into the weekend. Now we are going to see some colder air here in the morning hours. We're looking at lows about 40 over towards uh, Vidalia, Metter and Estill. Maybe a few spots in the upper 30s Saturday and again on Sunday morning. But once we get through Sunday morning, here comes that warming trend. Low 70s on Sunday, mid 70s there on Monday. And I think we'll see some 80s coming up heading into our Tuesday, especially inland. But we do start to pick up a few more clouds, but only a slight chance for a shower the way it looks right now, Tuesday and Wednesday.